Hello, hello, hello. So first and foremost, yesterday I went to the Albany Comic Book Show, or Albany Comic Con. Um, I will probably insert pictures. here um all the links to those pictures who they're provided by are linked below if it's not linked then it was taken by me um but on the comic book shows here was awesome it was awesome i made away with i think six joker figurines um which leads me into my segue of the joker Death of the Family. So this book was released a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll show it to you. And this is a compilation, compilation of, I gotta take off the cover so it doesn't like slide around when I try to open it, of the new 52 of different series which features the Joker and Batman. Um, in it, it has Joker, Batman, Catwoman, Nightwing, Harley Quinn, Robin, I think that's it, Batgirl, it's got Batgirl, I love Batgirl, I don't, I'm not a big Batman fan, but I love Batgirl, um, who else, who else, where, where are you, should run this down, sorry, where are you, where are you, it's got a chapter for, four, 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 let me get to your name, yeah. For uh, Red Hood and Red Robin, um, but it's it's got this Joker Death of the Family takes place after in Suicide Squad Harley learns that the Joker's face was cut off and he's dead. He's gone for a year and now he's back and that's what this whole book is. This book is the Joker coming back after his one year gone. He actually takes his face and tapes it back on or staples it, glues it, whatever, to his actual skin face, which I also have the figurine to go with. Do, do, do. And this is, I, I love this figurine. I love it. This, this is, and there's a picture on the back. Um, this Joker book is by far my favorite graphic novel of all time and i am religiously green arrow but I, I do go outside of green arrow a lot because i love comics but i have been religiously green arrow for years now and this takes the cake over longbow hunters it hurts my heart to say that but it does because it shows how truly maddening and sick the joker really is i mean for one he staples his face back on to himself and it's he, he, there's, I don't want to give anything away, but only thing I'm going to give away is there's a chapter in here of the Joker right there serving up platters to all of the characters at a table of their skinned faces in the plate, but it was just, it ended up just being a joke that he found funny. <laughs> It's great, like, the art in this. Look at the art. It was... I should know it's offhand. Where are you? Are you? Are you? Give me a second, guys. There's, there's the, the first one. First page of it. Greg Capu... Capu... Capulo. And... FCO, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Placencia. Yeah, them. They did, they did the cover art and stuff. I'm like, in this, this is, um, the series that are actually in this, you can buy individual books. This is just all of them together. Um, it, it includes, uh, Batman, Batman, Detective Comics, Batman and Robin, Batgirl, Suicide Squad, Nightwing, 
Red Hood and the Outlaws, Teen Titan, and Catwoman. So it's a lot of different characters and series all put into one for the Joker's welcome back party. And it leaves you questioning at the end. It, it leaves you questioning if the Joker is dead or alive. Um, at one point, it, uh, what, what's his name? The, uh, the butler. I don't read Batman. I only read Joker or Harley Quinn. Uh, the butler. The butler blows off his head. But it's just a dream. And then he wakes up. And it, it leaves you questioning whether... It just kind of, like, leaves you hanging. Whether the Joker is still alive or not. Here it is. Here's where all the faces are. I love it. I love the violence. And then in the end, Batman gets all, like, lovey-dovey with Robin. He's like, it's okay. Yada, yada, yada. Trying to comfort him and all that garbage. Sorry, I don't like Batman. He just whines and complains. I love I love the Joker. And this Harley Quinn's like she, she fights the Joker in her chapter. She fights the Joker. They're all kind of fighting the Joker. Even though in Suicide Squad she took his face and put it on the dead shot. Not dead, not dead shot. The guy. She put the face on the guy and was talking to him in China. It was weird. If you haven't read Suicide Squad you need to because it's awesome. But that was my review of Joker at Death of the Family. I apologize if it wasn't very good, but overall, you need to read this. You need to. If you, even if you don't like Batman or the Joker or DC Comics, if you are a Marvel fan, you still need to read this book because this book is amazing. This is the best graphic novel I have ever read in my entire life just because of how maddening and sick it is because I, I love the Joker. I love him. My room is full of Joker. And they even have a figurine to match. Who doesn't like? I keep mine in the box because I like to collect them and display them in my room. And my mom yells at me because she's like, I told you not to put things on your walls. And then my walls are like covered with Joker action figures currently. But if you have read it, if you have read any of the parts of the series of it, um, leave a comment. What did you think of it? Did you like it or did you not like it? Do you plan on reading it? Did this review help you at all if you want more comic reviews? Uh, comics you think I should check out? Um, one last thing before going, I'll show you guys my shirt because it's awesome. It's awesome. It is, um, Dragon Ball Z. And it's, it's Kamehameha O's. And it's got Go, Goku on it. And it, it has over 9,000 essential vitamins and I got it from the et.com which is y e t e e.com so thank you for watching my my joker rant review um I'll see you all soon bye